Okay, well, hello there, out in TV land. Welcome. All right, welcome to Right On with John Crane. And today, I have a piece of equipment that I want to share with you guys. It's a piece of equipment that I should have bought a long time ago, and it's this unit that I got on my head and on my hip. This is what's known as a PAPR, a powered air purifying respirator. And I gotta tell you, this is a real game changer in the shop. If you do a lot of shop work like I do, in here grinding, there's all kinds of dust. You wanna have a unit like this. It's very comfortable and it does a great job at filtering particulate among other things. I think the first time I saw this, this type of unit, I used to be in a wood turning guild in Portland, Oregon a long time ago. And uh, a guy down there by the name of Bob Fryer Tuck, he was a great wood turner, but I remember he was allergic to Coca-Bola wood. He was turning some Coca-Bola and it was getting on his skin and he was breathing it in and he was allergic to it. So. He purchased a unit, I don't think it was a 3M unit like this, he purchased another unit, and that was the first time I saw something like that, and I thought that was great. But here, right, it's taken me 20 years for me to purchase something like this, and I should have purchased this a long time ago. This is just a great thing to have, right? I've been using those cartridge respirators, and if you have a beard like I do, you don't always get a tight seal on your face. And this unit here, it's got the visor, it's got this, you know, shield that you pull down. And what's going on here is there's a unit on the hip. This has a cartridge in here, it's drawing air through the filter, up through this hose, into the back of this helmet. This is like a hard hat helmet. It goes through the top of the helmet and then comes out a little vent here right in the front above my brow and it blows fresh air over the face. And it has this elastic piece of fabric that seals around your face. And this is just a great unit to have. And with this Airstream project that I'm working on, I've got sandblasting, I got polishing. You know, the polishing, I'm using lots of different compounds. There's aluminum dust coming off of the Airstream when I'm gonna be working on that. I don't wanna be breathing that in. And I don't like, boy, wearing those respirators that seal to your face, wearing those for long periods of time, they just get really uncomfortable, getting all sweaty and get the moisture build up in the mask. And ah, this is just great, you know, keeps you nice and cool. You got the fresh air flowing over you. Okay, here's some of the other masks that I use and everything has its place in the shop. Sometimes you wanna use something like this. Here's a, a full face type deal. These are okay. They're not comfortable, right? I don't like wearing those. And sometimes when you have these, sometimes you're tempted not to put it on because it is so uncomfortable. Right, and we got these little, you know, wimpy masks there. But, right, they all have their place. This is a 3M M300 helmet. It's got a hard hat top. It's got the visor that pulls up like this. This is kind of a fabric elastic thing that comes over your face. It's got lots of adjustment inside. You know, it's got the, the little twist lock here so you can lock this to the back of your head and keep this secure. And it does feel really secure on my head. It doesn't feel like it's moving around that much. And it's not very heavy. This helmet is very lightweight. Here's where this hose connects here on the top. You just press these two. This pops right off. Put that right on there. And then here, is the unit itself. This is the TR300, all right? And the hose, this little hose just pops in right to here. It's got the button here, you just hold this. The fan comes on and that's blowing air right out through the front. And you do have this option here. This is a little valve, little lever opening here, vent, I should say, where the air comes out. And this can help deflect the air 
you know, whether it's coming straight down on your face or it's heading more out towards the shield. So that's nice to have that little louver there to help the airflow. And to turn it off, right, you just hold the button again. It shuts it down. And if we pop this open, all right, there's a button on this side and we release this. And in here, we got the cartridge. Now this is a TR3712N. This is a HEPA cartridge. You can see here on the back of the cartridge. And right here, we got the little fan motor. Here's a battery that snaps into the bottom. And even on the battery, you have a little tester. You can see how much charge you have in the battery. Also, it comes with a charger right here. These batteries are, uh, are pretty spendy though. It'd be nice, I'd like to get another one of these and then I can just swap out to different batteries. Uh, in here, you have a pre-filter, right? Just a little piece that goes in ahead of the filter cartridge. So you put that filter in there. You can also get uh, another filter, pre-filter, a spark arrestor, which is just basically like a piece of metal screen that you put in there first. That way, if you're around any grinding or sparks, that type of thing, it's going to hit that and not melt your pre-filter or your filter. So you put your filter in there. You put it back in the unit and you just snap it in. And there you go, right? Of course, I got the Got the logo there. If you want a sticker, you can always head over to my uh, store, right on with johncrane.com, and you can purchase a sticker, help support the channel. Right, so this comes with a, a leather belt with uh, infinite adjustment on now, it. I did buy my unit used from somebody. These units go, you know, depending on where you purchase this unit, it goes anywhere from 1000 to 1600 bucks for it. So it is quite an investment, but boy, it is well worth it. Don't skimp on your health. Definitely get one of these units sooner than later. Go out and buy one. But since I did buy it used, I don't, there's a little um, test meter that you can screw onto here. And then when you turn it on, it tells you how much air is pushing out and whether or not your filter is clogged and it's not pushing enough air. So that's one thing that I do need to purchase. You can get uh, different attachments for this. You can get a hood that snaps into this seal right here that drapes over your whole head. And that would be a great thing for a uh, sandblasting operation where there's lots of particulate matter, you know, flying back at you. And I should look into that to get one of those. Uh, it's kind of like a Tyvek looking hood type thing that drapes over the whole deal. And then here's something that I just purchased and it just came in. There's two indents right here. And what those are for is for these right here, the 3M uh, ear defenders, the Peltor. And these get attached with some screws right into these holes. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay, there's two little indentations and I'm going to pre-drill these. All right, let's check this out and see how this fits. All right, buckle up the belt here. And don the, uh, the space helmet. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, tighten up the little deal in the back. Turn the unit on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that is awesome. That is a great addition to get these earmuffs. And I don't know, but 
I kind of feel lost if I'm not wearing my ear protection in the shop sometimes, right? Look at these. I've been wearing these for 30 years or something. These are pretty old and uh, it's kind of like Linus in his blanket. If I don't have these on, I feel like something's missing, but it's great to be able to have these. You know, you're doing a lot of work and you want to have your earbuds in there. You want to be listening to some tunes, doing the polishing, the grinding in the shop. All right, I realize that I'm I'm probably yelling. I think I can rotate these up out of the way. All right, nice. Right, you know the guys with the earmuffs on and they're always yelling and you're like, hey man, what, what's going on, right? All right, I also wanna say on the visor of this, you can get these protective clear shields uh, that you can just peel off, you know, stick on to the front. And so what I did was, I have some of these clear acetate sheets and I just been cutting my own. I made a little cardboard template and I'm just cutting some out of some clear plastic and I got some clear double stick tape here on the sides, but you can buy these from 3M and you should buy some of those to protect that acrylic shield. If you're grinding, you don't want sparks going into this. And I just wanted to show another unit that I have this is, uh, I just bought this for grinding. This is a super cheapo one. I think this is, I don't know, 30 bucks or something on Amazon. It's a forestry helmet. I think the name of this one is called a uh, No Cry. I don't know, what. No Crying? Can't be crying when you have this on. But this is great for grinding in the shop as well. If you don't want to put the whole unit on, it's got the protective shield. It's got the earmuffs, super cheap, 30 bucks. Go grab one of these. Uh, you won't be disappointed to have that in the shop. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today was this unit here, the TR300. There's other units out there. It's a TR600. I think there's a TR800. Look into those. See which one is right for you. Don't delay. Buy one today, right? Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your health. You know, this is, it's worth the money to get it, to protect your lungs and just to feel comfortable on the job. All right, I hope you guys are doing great. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tell your friends, tell your buddies, shoot them a link to my videos, you know, over on your phone and uh, let them know what's going on here at Right On with John Crane. Lots of Airstream action coming up. We got some sandblasting. I'm gonna be doing some polishing. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. All right, right on.